I now like to go over the concepts and design of utilizing SIM and SOAR. Uh, also be advised that SIM is sometimes pronounced SIM. It kind of just depends on uh, who you talk to in this case. So what, what do these acronyms even stand for? Well, we take a look. SIM or SIEM stands for Security Information and Event Management. And actually, the reason why um, a lot of people call it uh, SIM instead of SIEM is because back in the day, there was SIM, uh, which was a technology, Security Information Management, and there was another technology known as SEM, Security Event Management. And so it's kind of just become a tradition to call uh, this SIM, but also a lot of people pronounce it SIEM. To me, it's potato, potato, you say it however you want to say it, all right? Um, and there is also SOAR, which is Security Orchestration Automation and Response, all right? And so what are the capabilities of all this? Well, first off, you should know that Microsoft Sentinel is both of those things. It is both a SIM product and a SOAR product, okay? The, the SIM side of this is that it is used to collect data across all sorts of devices, all your various users, all the applications, all the different infrastructures, both on-premise and in the cloud. It even supports multiple cloud, business-to-business -business types of scenarios where it can collect data and allow you to generate alerts, do threat intelligence, um, help with investigations, look for anomalies, all of that. That's the, the SIM side of all this. And then the SOAR side of all this, which is security orchestration, automation, and response, well, the idea there is to provide extra automation and orchestration features. The goal being that when something is detected, whether it's a threat or some kind of alert generated, you want SOAR to be able to act quickly and provide some kind of automated response. One of the things that it offers is what is called customizable playbooks, which can help automate. These are actions that can be triggered when some type of threat uh, has occurred, okay? So hopefully that gives you your base understanding there. If you didn't already know, that's your base understanding of what SIM and SOAR is. Now, if we look at this little graphic here, um, from Microsoft, you can see here we have Microsoft Azure, and over here is Microsoft Sentinel, which is uh, our SIM and SOAR, and we have this thing called a Log Analytics Workspace that gets associated with Microsoft Sentinel, and that's sort of like the place where everything can be pulled in. And keep in mind, you can have more than one Log Analytics Workspace for pulling in all of this data that's going to be analyzed and managed through Microsoft Sentinel. So you can actually break up the uh, the various uh, types of environments you have in a different log analytics workspace. For example, I could have one log analytics workspace that's dedicated to just pulling in data from Azure, another that's, that's dedicated to pulling in from uh, AWS and other types of cloud providers and another just for one for on-premise or you could have one log, log analytics workspace like I've got here that just pulls in everything and so there's various strategies and designs for that okay but the log analytics workspace is the resource in Azure that's going to pull all this logging data in and communicate that with Microsoft Sentinel so Sentinel can do the analysis and, and all that now you've also got in this day and age, Microsoft Defender for Cloud, which plays a role and can play a pretty advanced role in dealing with all this as well. This is where a lot of our threat intelligence and all of that uh, is involved. In fact, Microsoft has a team of over 3,000 and something uh, security professionals worldwide that are contributing to the threat intelligence database, which is going to involve knowing what the latest and greatest threats are. This also ties to the MITRE Corporation, the CVE database, the ATT&CK database, if you know what those are. So it's going to link with all that stuff as well. All right. Um, so Microsoft Defender for Cloud works in conjunction with our Log Analytics workspace and works in conjunction with Microsoft Sentinel, which is our main SIM and SOAR-based system. All right. So again, we, with the help of all this, we can link our Azure virtual machines and resources into this. We can link our um, AWS and other cloud services and providers into this, as well as on-premise. And 
you can even have some other collector type technology that's communicating with this as well and uh, you know, that is sort of they do tell you here this is optional and, and a lot of the reason that sort of pointed out is because a lot of organizations already have some kind of server on premise that's collecting information a good example of this would be uh, SCOM system center operations manager which is a Microsoft product that can collect monitoring data from all the devices in a Microsoft environment and uh, ultimately that could uh, send that information over to Microsoft Defender for Cloud into Log Analytics Workspace. Keep in mind, you can bypass Microsoft Defender for Cloud in a lot of circumstances, but it's advised that you don't because Microsoft Defender for Cloud does add an additional layer of protection into this whole thing. But uh, mainly, the thing to remember here is the, the end game is to allow S uh, SIM and SOAR, Microsoft Sentinel in other words, to do its thing which is going to be to, to centralize all this information, all this analytic data, all this logging data from all these different places and then make decisions on whether something is a threat and then how to handle that threat. All right, maybe we just need to alert an admin, maybe we need to trigger some kind of automation, but ultimately that is our end game here and that is what we're going to get out of this. So what are some of the key points, other key points you get with Microsoft Sentinel? This is their main SIM tool. It's a cloud native security analytics, provides threat intelligence. Okay. It's going to really help up the, the strength of our Azure Microsoft 365 environment. We've also got data collection and integration so it can aggregate and centralize. That means pull everything in from different locations pull all this data in and then be able to uh, provide a wide range of um, security capabilities with that as well as pull in a, a wide range of uh, data collection meaning users devices application infrastructure both in the cloud various different types of cloud as well as on-premise then we've got advanced threat detection so this is going to utilize advanced analytics it's going to utilize machine learning uh, it has built-in templates even that can uh, that are already provided by Microsoft security professionals on being able to analyze and detect certain types of threats within the Microsoft and Azure environment. Then you've got investigation response, so it provides tools for investigating, generating alerts, automating responses, all of that stuff, uh, depending upon the type of incident that might have occurred or could occur. Then you've got Microsoft 365 integration. So originally when a lot of this came out, it was just Azure side. In fact, um, Sentinel used to be called Azure Sentinel and uh, it was mostly just geared towards Microsoft Azure and it didn't seep over into the Microsoft 365 side of things well now Microsoft Sentinel they changed the name to Microsoft Sentinel it does uh, manage both the Azure side and secure both the Azure side as well as the Microsoft 365 side so you know we're able to protect a lot of our uh, products like the Office 365 SharePoint teams all that fun stuff okay so that this hopefully now helps you get a better understanding of SIEM and SOAR when it comes to Microsoft 365 and Azure.